Mariposa Physical. I'm here at the Aston Brain Centre in Birmingham to help researchers understand how young people's brains work. They'll do this by looking at what my brain is doing using a special technique called MEG. Let's go in and find out more. Today I'm meeting Lauren and Mabel. It feels like a hospital where you don't have to be able to come here. Not just anyone comes here, you have to be invited. Hello, pleased to meet you. There's no need to be nervous about having a Meg scan. I'm actually quite excited. While they're getting ready, I'm finding something fun to do. Before we start, I get a chance to talk with the scientists all about what the research is investigating and why they're interested in me. I get to ask questions about how long it'll take, whether I have to press buttons, think about something special, or just sit and watch something. They explain all the things that are going to happen, and my family are here to make sure that everyone is happy for me to be scanned. So now all that's taken care of, it's time to head to see the scanner. This is the room where the Meg Brain Scanner is controlled. Take a seat while I get prepared for being in the scanner. The scanner doesn't work when there's metal near it, so I have to remove any jewellery, hair grips, my belt, glasses or money. Now in order for the scanner to know where my head is, I need to have some coloured pads stuck on it. They go on my forehead and behind my ears and don't do anything other than be noticed by the machine. A little extra tape will help them stay down. For the next part, I have to wear some glasses with no lenses in them. The glasses aren't the same with, but they are a part of some motion capture equipment required to record the shape of my head. I need to wear them while the pads on my head are located. Next, the scientist will draw on my head with a special pen, but there's no need to worry. It doesn't have any ink in it. First, they need to point exactly to the pads that they've stuck on. Then, they put a big blunt tip on the special pen and run it all over my head. They do this because everyone's head is a different size and shape. It feels a lot like a relaxing head massage and is a little ticklish. Of course, it does leave you with messy hair. That's better. When this is done, it's time to go and see the brain scanner. So, here we are. When you first see it, you might think it looks like a rocket from outer space. I get to sit in the control seat, although it doesn't have any controls. The Meg scanner measures the magnetic waves that are in my head when my brain does something. I think it's time to take a closer look. Once I'm sitting down, the scientist will make adjustments by getting the chair to just the right height. You're never really alone in the scanning room, as everything I do can be seen on a screen in the control room. One of the most important things to remember when having any brain scan is that you need to be comfortable and sit still. The scientists will make sure that I'm happy before we carry on, and if I wanted someone else to stay in the room with me, then I can just ask the scientists. I'll be fine once I've got comfortable. Today, I don't have to do much whilst I'm being scanned. Lauren wants me to sit quietly and watch a movie for a while. While I'm in the Meg scanner, the scientists can look at my brain activity that's happening deep in my head. They can watch me on a monitor and I can talk to them, although I am trying to sit as still as possible. It's amazing that the scanner can measure my brain working and be so quiet, and I can't feel anything happening at all. The scan could be as long as half an hour, but when the scientists are happy they've got enough information, they will come and fetch me out. For me, the scan is over and it's time to take off the coloured pads. After all that sitting still, I need to have a good stretch. I get a chance to talk with Lauren about what they saw on the screen, and she tells me it looks like a lot of wiggly lines. She's really pleased with my brain activity, but says it will take her a long time to turn all those wiggly lines into 3D coloured pictures of which part of my brain is doing things at what particular time. So, that's the end of my Meg scan, and I don't feel any different at all. I find it hard to sit still the best of times, as you can imagine, but it was a great experience. Now, if you get the chance to take part in some science research like this, then I'm sure you'll have a good time. I did. I really love my time here. It's quiet and calm. 
So, I hope you've enjoyed sharing my experience of having a MEG scan and that you've learned something new about what a MEG scan is like. This is Sanjay Reporter Physical. Bye!